Joel just did something he's never done before and actually took a pill for seasickness. Now we've got the wind at a beam reach and they're pulling out the jib and you can feel the boat is picking up speed quite quickly. This is Joel. Together with Tony and Jared, he gave up everything to buy a boat and go on the adventure of a lifetime. But after a death-defying sail to Cuba, he returned to Key West and found himself alone. Wish me luck on this adventure. When Michael finished school, I asked her to sail with me to the Bahamas. She agreed, but joined strictly as crew. Four months later, we made it to the Dominican Republic. Broke and in love. Bums on a Boat is a true story about facing fear, finding adventure, and falling in love. Each tale is brought to you by our patrons and viewers. Subscribe and click the bell to get notified about weekly premieres and visit our website to learn more. Thank you for watching. We're walking away with a little girl. These are the tales of Boab. Lola just took off with Joel. Didn't really see that coming, probably should have. He had to come back and leave her with me. Hey, Lola, come here. All right, this time stand with mom and the viewers, Lola, okay? I gotta go pick up some stuff. Who's the poopy? My biggest concern is that Lola's gonna get these these chappies all jacked up, but she seems to be doing pretty good. So we're gonna do some sailing with our friends Bill and Dana Lee on SV Caterpillar, which is a Nisna 44. It's a catamaran. If you've been following along, you might be a little bit interested in this boat already. It's a really sweet boat. I think Cruising Magazine actually voted it top 10 most affordable like offshore cruising catamarans. So it's pretty sweet. We're gonna check that out. We're gonna see how she performs under sail. If you guys have been watching for a while, you probably know that these braids are something new. I cannot take credit for the inspiration. That was from Emily, from Emily and Clark's adventure. She helped me get these braids started and Joel's actually been really helpful for like learning to braid and doing an awesome job with the upkeep because I can't really take care of it myself. It's definitely the most time intensive, time consuming hairstyle I've ever had, but it's so functional for boat life. My scalp feels so cool in this tropical summer and it's not annoying when my sweaty skin snags my hair. What do you think? Hey Lola, do you like this better than uh, the mono haul? The little 33 foot mono haul? What do you think about the 44 foot catamaran? What do you think? We got a tail wag right there. That's, that's a sign she likes the catamaran. Maybe before we pull the sail, we should just go around and meet the crew. James, you want to say hi? Hey, what's I'm gonna, going on? I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> All right. What, what, what is uh, your question? What's your favorite thing about sailing? Being completely out of sight of land where you're just feeling tiny out in the absolute blue. Good answer. No. All right, James. All right, Yana. Hello. Hi, what's your favorite thing about diving? Everything. Nobody talks to you. I don't have to use words. And it's peaceful, it's quiet, and you go in every, you can go in every dimension. You can fly on the water. Ooh, good answer. It's freedom. Andrew, <laughs> this just in. You're What's in, up? 
You're an idiot. <laughs> That's the shirt he's wearing. <laughs> my daughter's. This Gave my daughter got it for me. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so, so, um, let's see. Random question. What, what was corporate life like? Interesting. Very interesting. It what, was. It was. was it your, was fun. What was your favorite part about corporate life? Meeting new people, traveling around the world, new cultures. Um, and you're seeing it from not like a tourist point of view. You're seeing it from working with people. So the people you're working with, the locals, are taking you out and showing you their world. And it's really cool that way. We got Bob here. Bob. So, Bob, what's your favorite part about boat work? You've been in the boat yard for a while. You've had, had a boat in there. My favorite part about boat work is splashing. Splashing. Yeah. Captain Bill, I'm going to let him operate right now. You got a second? I mean, yeah. they already, a lot of our viewers already met you, but. Um, it's me again. Hi, Bill. Uh, so you've had your son on the boat for quite a while and he just left. So what's your favorite part about that? Favorite Having part the boat about to him, yourself, yeah. Him leaving? Sorry, Drew, if you're watching this, but there's gotta be a <laughs> positive and a negative, right? This, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good enough answer. That was a tough question. All right, and Dana Lee, the last one, the Admiral. According to my husband, I'm starving him to death. All right. Drew is gone. <laughs> Drew, <laughs> Drew demands food on a regular basis. <laughs> Not so much if we can So I guess I'll just ask you the same question. Uh, Do you have a favorite part about having a couple of days to yourself without it's Drew? It's quiet and peaceful, and I still miss my son. But yeah, kind of, kind of. Kind of nice having the boat to ourselves. This is usually always the case around here, but the wind is coming from the direction we're trying to go. So they, uh, Bill and Danny talked about it for a while. They didn't want to raise the main, just trying to make as much headway as we can before we can tack. We figured out who the most experienced sailor on the boat was. We all decided it's probably James. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's what happened. We, yeah. So because James suggested we lift the main, we're gonna do that. So if it goes wrong, it's on James. <laughs> but what we think though, we think we should be able to point a little bit more into the wind if we pull the main up, just to get make a little more headway before we tack. Release those two clutches, man. Those That's an electric winch, ladies and gentlemen. Push all the way forward. There you go, good. Now we're gonna release those two clutches. So they don't get caught in the lazy jacks. Okay, so that's what I might have to run up and untangle. Yeah, that's okay, I'll, yeah. I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> All right, got it. How's it going? Good. Pretty epic, huh? Yeah. It's cool, the electric winch situation. It is, but I do get what they say about having this big mainsail. That's a lot of canvas. Yeah, that's massive. Oh, that's a lot of sail. Lola, what do you think? It's a little more comfortable than our boat. <laughs> We've got the sail almost completely up. It needs to go about an inch or two, but it seems to be stuck maybe. Bill doesn't want to keep winching on it. We can't tell what it's stuck on, but. Yeah, four and six. We're just. We're just trying to make it taut down here at the foot of the sail and it's just not quite there yet. So James is gonna try to pull in on the outhaul and hopefully get the sail taut that way. If, if you look on the inside of the track here, yeah. you still got that little bit of a bag there, but it's, okay. it's a lot less than what it had been. Okay. Now all right, that seemed out, to work. Bill, were you able to make any more headway at all with the main? Um, I don't know. We're, we're just sailing too close to the wind, really, to make it uh, really effective. Uh, this is the actual wind right now. Joel just did something he's never done before and actually took a pill for seasickness. In four years, he's always gotten seasick on the boat every time we go out sailing, pretty much. We thought it might be a little bit different on the catamaran, but he made the biggest mistake this morning. Well, I left my empanada in the dinghy. Right when we were done doing everything we had to do, we took off, I was ready to eat my nice empanada and it was just not here. So I think 
when you're on an empty stomach, that's usually a red flag for me. I'm never feeling good after that. Plus, the catamaran is a little bit of a different feeling. Gotta be honest. Are you gonna puke? No. Now we've got the wind at a beam reach and they're pulling out the jib and you can feel the boat is picking up speed quite quickly. This is when the catamarans are at their best. Woo! Now we're flying. Wow. Now this is fun. It also feels so much better. It's a lot smoother of a ride. I can't wait to see. It looked like we were averaging about four knots and they were uh, running the motor the whole time. So we'll go back there and see what we're doing right now for speed. It feels like we're doing eight knots at least already. Big old main so. Woo! We're coming into Cambiasso right now and we're coming in hot. What are we doing for speed now, Captain? Eight knots. Eight knots. Eight knots, pretty good guess, right guys? Oh, I feel a lot better. I think it was really just motoring into the wind on a catamaran, it's kind of rough. And the pill probably kicked in. Maybe the pill, it might just be the pill. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice way of doing it. <laughs> You don't, sailing isn't so bad, is it? See if we can't find you guys any, uh, any fishies or uh, something cool. Always further than it looks. <sighs> All right, it's time to head back. Okay, so now we're in following seas, and I love this. You doing all right? Yeah. Pulling off, I got a little bit too much sun and I felt kind of sleepy, queasy, not right, but I'm better. Another thing that might be crazy about the catamarans is that, that slamming sound. We're in really calm seas and you hear it, the boat shakes. So in really heavy seas, I would imagine that would be very scary. All right, we're gonna try to jive, I think. Wow. 
Well done. Not bad for my first time. Maybe I should jump from the bow. Oh no, he's got it. All right, so we're now just trying to get on the mooring. That's the last little mission we have here today. And we got our plan. Let's see how it works out. You know how plans go. Actually, Joel got sick there in the beginning, seasickness. I got sick there in the end, a little bit of heat sickness. But all in all, that was an awesome day. And I wasn't a meanie, and I didn't go film Michael down there being all sick and, you know, heat poisoned. Right. Yeah. All right, so I got a two-part question for you, Joel. Okay. What is your favorite thing about sailing a catamaran? And are you ready to buy one, trade in Shock Mate? Favorite thing? I just like the space. I like just the deck space. Uh, enough room to, to comfortably sail with eight people and it's just tons of room and they could all bring their stuff No, we're not ready to trade in shock mate nope. There was actually a lot of downsides and I actually have gained a lot more respect for people that cruise catamarans Bill and Dana Lee Sails are very big. Everything is very big oh, yeah. and heavy and It's not necessarily easier. It makes our boat seem a lot more manageable Least favorite thing was definitely the slamming. That's a sensation that we've never experienced and I'm sure you get used to it when you're going to weather on a catamaran, just that waves pounding on the bridge deck. But to Shaking. feel the whole boat shake. In tiny seas, that was like three to five foot seas. That was nothing. Yeah, that'd be tough to get used to yeah. for me. Sailing downwind was way more comfortable. Sailing on a beam reach on monohull is just as great as sailing on a beam reach on a catamaran. Mm -hmm. But downwind, I captured some footage of our buddy Cliff. He, he on a monohull, and he, you can see this this motion like this. It's kind of this, <laughs> and the catamaran just downwind just really goes. The only down, the only thing was going into the wind. I would 100% rather be on old shock mate here. 100%. Yeah, it kind of has four points of yeah. movement, and it kind of moves like this. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we'd love to know if you're a catamaran person, if you're a monohull kind of person, and what's your favorite thing about sailing? And would you like to have a full tour? of that catamaran mm -hmm. they have agreed to do a full tour complete inside you can check it out it's one of cruising world's top 10 most affordable world cruising catamarans so this baby is built to go around the world and they've got a full-on lithium battery <sighs> setup you guys are going to want to see their battery sweet. their battery bank you're going to want to see i'm pretty sure you want to see but we're going to wait to hear from you if we get enough feedback that says do it we're going to do it Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. It's free to subscribe. One of our commenters let us know to let you know. In case you were wondering, some of you might not have known that. So hit that subscribe button. And give us a like hey. if you like the video. Lola, you got anything to add? What did you like better, sailing on a catamaran or a monohull? Monohull suck. I like catamarans way better. Oh, hush, hush. These are the tales of Boab. Focus. Boab! Lola dipped. How come you're so quiet?